good afternoon to all of you in the previous class we started we discussed about the uh, boiling and uh, condensation heat transfer aspects boiling you know the phase uh, change heat transfer process in which whenever the uh, fluid uh, comes in contact with a surface which is maintained higher than that of the saturation temperature of that liquid the, the boiling occurs you know the different uh, uh, boiling processes pool boiling rhythms and correlations and condensation is a phase change process whenever the the fluid uh, is comes in contact with the surface which is maintained less than that of the saturation temperature of the fluid the condensation occurs we developed uh, the theoretical equation using the nusselt theory of film condensation the local heat transfer coefficient as well as the average heat transfer coefficient equation these are available in heat and mass transfer data handbook at the same time we discussed about the uh, heat pipes heat pipe uh, was conceived by rs gagler of general motors in 1942 but uh, uh, till 1962 much attention was uh, paid about the uh, towards this heat pipes when it started using in the space applications uh, much attention was paid after 1962 because uh, we know uh, this uh, heat pipe uh, uh, fluid is having uh, the thermal conductivity of 1 lakh watt per meter kelvin compared to copper which is having a conductivity of 400 watt per and it is 1000 times more than that of the copper as an example we can we have seen in the previous class 15 cm long 0.6 cm diameter heat pipe with uh, water as a working fluid that can transfer heat at a rate of 3 100 joules per second now let me continue with the problems on boiling heat transfer this problem has taken from vitu old question paper august 2002 water at atmospheric pressure is to be boiled in polished copper pan the diameter of the pan is 350 mm and is kept at 115 degrees celsius assume csf equal to 0.013 for polished copper pan and delta t equal to 15 degrees celsius calculate the power of the burner number 2 rate of uh, evaporation of water and critical heat flux i will read the problem once again water at atmospheric pressure is to be boiled in polished copper pan the diameter of the pan is uh, 30 350 mm and is kept at 115 degrees celsius assume csf equal to 0.013 for polished copper pan and delta t equal to 15 degrees celsius calculate the power of the burner rate of evaporation of the water and critical heat flux first of all let us evaluate the properties of water at 100 degrees celsius cpl l stands for liquid and uh, v stands for vapor 4216 joules per kg kelvin rho l 960.6 kg per meter cube prl 1.74 mu l 0.282 into 10 to the power minus 3 newton second per meter square similarly properties of water sorry properties of steam at 100 degrees celsius from the heat and mass transfer data handbook rho v 0.60 kg per meter cube hfg 2257 into 10 to the power 3 joules per kg surface tension uh, sigma 58.8 into 10 power minus 3 newton meter csf 0.013 and n equal to 1 we know the expression for surface heat flux uh, for nucleate uh, boiling is given by this expression you may ask one question why nucleate uh, boiling uh, is uh, given you have seen in the problem it is uh, delta t is given as 15 degree up to uh, 30 degree celsius it is a nucleate pool boiling when the delta t is equal to 30 degree celsius the excess temperature the pool boiling occurs so hence uh, sorry nucleate boiling occurs uh, pool boiling nucleate boiling it is rather it is a pool boiling submerged whenever pool boiling is uh, when you heat uh, the fluid uh, by uh, submerged uh, uh, surface it is a nucleate boiling nucleate boiling occurs up to delta t is equal to 30 degree celsius equal to or less than 30 degree celsius so hence the expression for surface heat flux for nucleate uh, pool boiling it is given by mu l into hfg into bracket g into rho l minus rho v divided by sigma bracket to the power 1 by 2 into bracket cpl into ts minus t sat divided by csf hfg prl to the power whole bracket to the power 3 upon substitution of all the values q nucleate is equal to 0.282 into 10 power minus 3 into 2 to 5 7 10 power 3 that is hfg into bracket g 9.81 royal 960.9 minus rho v 0.6 divided by sigma 58.8 into 10 power minus 3 whole bracket to the power 1 by 2 into bracket again cpl 4216 
delta t is 15 csf 0.13 into hfg 2 to 5 7 8 10 to power 3 and prl to the power n is 1.74 to the power n uh, that is equal to 1 it is for water and for the for other fluids it is other than 1 these values are available in the heat and mass transfer data handbook hence upon calculation heat flux in for nucleate full boiling it is 4.841 into 10 to power 5 watt per meter square heat transfer rate you know it is a heat flux multiplied by the area that is 4.841 into 10 power 5 into pi by 4 d square it is 46576 watts and rate of evaporation m you know it is q by hfg it is 46576 divided by 2 to 5 7 into 10 power 3 is equal to 0 0.0206 kg per second kg per second expression for the critical heat flux we know it is q max is given by c cr it is a constant for a uh, critical heat flux hfg into bracket sigma g rho v square into rho l minus rho v bracket whole bracket to the power 1 by 4 you know ccr is pointed this you can evaluate from the uh, data handbook based on the the combination of fluid and the material uh, 2 to 5 7 into 10 power 3 into bracket 58.8 into 10 power minus 3 into 9.81 that is g 0.6 rho v square into uh, 0 0.60 which is square rho v square and 960.6 minus 0 0.6 whole bracket to the power 1 by 4 upon calculation so critical heat flux it is 1.52 megawatt per meter square so we have to operate below this value and if you go for beyond the critical heat flux any uh, the boiling heat transfer equipments so burnouts may occur that we have discussed in the theory now let us start with the second problem this problem has taken from heat you old question paper january 2010 let me read the problem saturated water at t sat equal to 100 degrees celsius is boiled inside a copper pan having a heating surface area of i into 10 power minus 2 meter square which is maintained at uniform surface temperature ts equal to 120 degrees celsius calculate number one the surface heat flux and the rate of evaporation this is similar to the previous problem here delta t is equal to 20 degrees again uh, the nucleate uh, pool boiling correlations we can use let me read the problem once again saturated water at t sat equal to 100 degrees celsius is boiled inside a copper pan having a heating surface area 5 into 10 power minus 2 meter square which is maintained at uniform surface temperature ts equal to 120 degrees celsius calculate the surface heat flux and number two the rate of evaporation this has problem this problem has taken from heat you old question paper january 2010 as usual uh, what we did in the previous problem calculate uh, let us evaluate the properties of water at 100 degrees celsius from heat and mass transfer data handbook cpl 4216 joules per kg kelvin rho l 960.6 kg per meter cube prl 1.74 mu l 0.282 into 10 power minus 3 newton second per meter square similarly uh, properties of steam at 100 degrees celsius from heat and mass transfer data handbook rho v 0.6 kg per meter cube hfg 2 to 5 7 into 10 to power 3 joules per kg surface tension sigma equal to 58.8 into 10 to power minus 3 newton per meter csf 0 0.013 that is uh, this constant based on the fluid and surface uh, combination these values are available uh, depending upon the type of the fluid and the surface used for boiling process csf values are available in the data handbook and n equal to 1 for water it is 1 for other than water the value is different that is available in the heat and mass transfer data handbook as we did in the previous problem expression for surface heat flux since uh, delta t equal to just it is 20 degrees when it is less than 20, 30 degrees so it is obviously a nucleate uh, boiling process so let us use the expression for surface heat flux for nucleate boiling process q nucleate is equal to mu l into hfg into bracket g into rho l minus rho v divided by sigma whole bracket to the power 1 by 2 again into bracket cpl into ts minus t set divided by csf hfg prl to the power n so whole bracket to the power 3 upon substituting all the values the uh, mu l is 0 0.282 into 10 to power minus 3 hfg is 2 to 5 7 into 10 power 3 into bracket g is 9.81 rho l 960.9 minus rho v 0 0.6 sigma is divided by sigma 58.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole bracket to the power 1 by 2 into bracket again cpl 4216 delta t is 20 degrees csf 0.013 hfg 2 to 5 7 into 10 to the power 3 and prl to the power n that is 1.74 n equal to 1 for water 
upon calculation surface heat flux for nucleate boiling process is 11.476 into 10 power 5 watt per meter square and rate of uh, evaporation equation you are all aware this m is equal to q by hfg it is 11.476 into 10 power 5 into this uh, it is a watt per meter square so area it is given in the problem upon substitution it becomes watts that is joules per second this is 2 to 5 7 into 10 power 3 so it is works out to be 0 0.0254 kg per second now let me start with the condensation heat transfer problems let me read the problem this problem has taken from vtu old question paper july 2017 Steam at 0 0.065 bar condenses on a vertical plate 0 0.6 meter square. If the surface temperature of the plate is maintained at 15 degrees Celsius, estimate the rate of condensation. Ts is equal to 37.7 degrees Celsius. Hfg into bracket it is 0 0.065 bar. Hfg at 0 0.065 bar that is equal to 2412 into 10 to power 3 joules per kg. The properties of water at mean temperature of 26.4 degrees Celsius are listed below. In, the, in this problem, he has given the properties of water. So, we use the properties what are all given here. Rho L is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube, mu L 864 into 10 power minus 6 kg per meter second, K equal to 0.913 watt per meter Kelvin. Let me read the problem once again. Steam at 0 0.065 bar, so uh, condenses on a vertical plate. 0.6 meter square. If the surface temperature of the plate is maintained at 15 degrees Celsius, estimate the rate of condensation. Ts equal to 37.7 degrees Celsius. Hfg that is 0 0.06 pi bar that is equal to 2412 into 10 to the power 3 joules per Kelvin. The properties of water at mean temperature of 26.4 degrees Celsius are listed below. Rho L is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube. Mu L is equal to 864 into 10 to the power minus 6 kg per meter second. K equal to 0.913 watt per Meter Kelvin. This problem taken from the old video question paper, July 2017. We know expression for mean heat transfer coefficient for condensation of steam on a vertical plate. This equation we have developed in the previous class, and this equation is available in the heat and mass transfer data handbook. It is H average equal to 0.943 into G rho L into rho L. Rho V is very very small. We can ignore H of G K L cube divided by mu L into T sat minus T S into L whole to the power bracket to the power 1 by 4. Substituting all the values, H average equal to 0.943 into bracket 9.81 thousand square, 2412 into 10 power 3, 0.913 cube, that is a thermal conductivity cube, divided by mu well 864 into 10 power minus 6, T is at 37.7 minus Ts is 15, that L is 0.6. So upon calculation, the average uh, heat transfer coefficient for condensation is 5897.5. 3, 5 watt per meter square degree Celsius. We know the rate of heat transfer rate is given by this equation, uh, the Newton's uh, equation, law of cooling or heating, Q is equal to HA delta T. H we have calculated uh, 5897.35 into area 0.6 by 0.6, T sat is 37.7 minus 15, so it is 48,193.16 watts. Rate of condensation of steam, we are all aware this equation m is equal to q by hfg it is 48 193.16 divided by hfg 2412 into 10 power 3 that works out to be uh, upon calculation 0 0.0199 kg per second or we can treat it as it is approximately equal to 0 0.02 kg per second second problem on condensation heat transfer let me read the problem this problem has taken from video old question paper january 2018 Saturated steam at 90 degrees Celsius and 70 kilopascal is condensed on outer surface of 1.5 meter long and 2.5 meter diameter vertical tube maintained at uniform temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. Assuming the film wise condensation, calculate the heat transfer rate on the tube surface. This is the problem given. Let me read the problem once again. Saturated steam at 90 degrees Celsius and 70 kilopascal is condensed on outer surface of 1.5 meter long and 2.5 meter a diameter vertical tube maintained at uniform temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. Assuming the film wise condensation, calculate the heat transfer rate on the tube surface. Now let us evaluate the properties of water at mean temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. Why it is 80 degrees Celsius? It is the steam temperature, saturation temperature is gi given at 90 degrees Celsius and 
it is uh, tube temperature is 70 so it is uh, average temperature film temperature it is 90 plus 70 uh, 160 divided by 2 it is 80 degrees celsius so rho l 974 kg per meter cube mu l 0.355 into 10 power minus 3 newton second per meter square k 0.668 watt per meter uh, kelvin and from steam tables at 70 kilo pascal hfg is 2309 2309 kilojoules per kg we know the expression for mean heat transfer coefficient for condensation of steam on a vertical cylinder is again given by h average equal to 0.943 into bracket g royal into royal hfg kl cube divided by mu l into ts minus t sat bracket into l whole bracket to the power 1 by 4 substituting all the values okay all the values h average equal to 0.943 into bracket 9.81 into 974 density whole square 2309 into 10 to the power 3 it is a hfg 0.668 cube thermal conductivity uh, mu l 3.355 into 10 to the power minus 3 uh, delta t 90 minus 70 into this uh, is l 1.5 so upon calculation the heat transfer coefficient average heat transfer coefficient it is 4668.95 watt per meter square degree celsius heat transfer rate as usual you know it is given by newton's law of heating or a cooling equation q is equal to h s t sat minus t s h you have calculated 4668.95 surface area pi dl pi into 2.5 into 1.5 t sat minus t s is 90 minus 70 so it is 1100.095 kilo watts let me take the one more problem Uh, which is taken from hitu old question paper again july 2018 dry saturated steam at a pressure of 2 bars condenses on the surface of a vertical tube of height 1 meter the tube surface is kept at 117 degree celsius estimate the thickness of a condensate film and heat transfer coefficient at a distance 0.2 meter from the upper end of the tube assume the condensate flow to be laminar also calculate the average heat transfer coefficient over the entire length of the tube this is the problem given let me read the problem once again dry saturated steam at a pressure of 2 bars condenses on the surface of a vertical tube of height 1 meter the tube surface is kept at 117 degree celsius estimate the thickness of a condensate film and heat transfer coefficient at a distance 0.2 meter from the upper end of the tube assume the condensate flow to be laminar Also calculate the average heat transfer coefficient over the entire length of the tube. This problem has taken from HTU old question paper, July 2018. Let us evaluate the properties of water at a mean temperature of 118.6. That you know, this uh, is given 117 tube surface. Okay. Plus condensation occurs at 100 degrees, so that works out to be around 118.6. Uh, saturation temperature taking because the uh, here it is two bars saturation temperature plus that is saturation temperature it is 120.2 this is uh, uh, plus 117 degree celsius so it works out to be around 118.6 degree celsius royal 946.12 kg per meter cube mu l 2.36 into 10 to the power minus 4 newton second per meter square k equal to 0.6846 watt per meter kelvin from steam tables at 2 bar hfg is equal to 2201.6 kJ per kg and saturation temperature 120.2 the properties are evaluated at this 120 plus 2 plus properties of water are evaluated at a mean temperature of 117 plus this 120.2 so that works out to be 118.6 degree celsius we know the expression for the local heat transfer coefficient for condensation of steam on a vertical tube at a distance 0.2 meter from the upper end this is the requirement this equation you know hx uh, we have uh, developed this equation while the developing the expression for the average heat transfer coefficient for laminar film wise condensation of steam on a vertical uh, plate using nusselt theory hx equal to in the bracket g rho l into rho l rho v very 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 small we can ignore or even if you are no problem hfg kl cube divided by 4 mu l Into bracket T sat minus T S into X X is the distance that is point to whole bracket to the power one by four. Substituting all the values, G is nine point eight one, Royal square nine point six point one two whole square, two two zero one point six, H F G two two zero one point six into ten power three, K L Q point six eight four six to the power three, 
4 into mu l is 4.36 into 10 power minus 4. This T sat is 120.2 and T s is 117 and X is 0.2. So HX local heat transfer coefficient at a distance 0.2 meter from the upper end is 10,065 watt per meter square degree Celsius. Now let us calculate the thickness of the condensate film at a distance 0.2 meter from the upper end. While developing the, uh, the average heat transfer coefficient or the local heat transfer coefficient for laminar film wise condensation on a vertical plate using Nessel theory, we come across this equation. Delta X equal to KL by HX. KL we have evaluated from the uh, heat and mass transfer data and book HX is this uh, 10,065. So it works out to be delta X 0 0.068 millimeter thickness of the condensate film at a distance 0.2 meter from the upper end. We know the expression for mean heat transfer coefficient for condensation of steam on a vertical plate or a cylinder is given by this equation h average equal to 0.943 into bracket g rho l into rho l hfg kl cube divided by mu l t sat minus t s it is actually rho l minus rho v rho v you can ignore very very small or you can add no problem into l whole bracket to the power 1 by 4 upon substituting all the values it is constant 0.943 into bracket 9.81 into 946.12 whole square 2201.6 into 10 power 3 hfg 0.6846 to the power 3 that is a kl to the power cube divided by mu l 2.36 into 10 power minus 4 into bracket ts 120.2 minus 117 it is ts into 1 l is 1 meter so average heat transfer coefficient is 89.5 7.6.2352 watt per meter square. One point extra it is okay. It is 8 8976.2352. Okay, uh, one point extra here. Sorry for that. Okay, it is watt per meter square degree Celsius. Let me uh, let us go with uh, one more problem. That is uh, fourth problem, which is taken from VTU January 2019 question paper. A vertical plate 500 millimeter high and men maintained at 30 degrees Celsius is exposed to saturated steam at atmospheric pressure. Calculate the following rate of heat transfer and number two condensate rate per hour per meter width of the plate for film condensation. Properties of water at mean temperature are royal 980.3 kg per meter cube mu 434 into 10 power minus 6 kg per meter second k 66.4 into 10 power minus 2 watt per meter degree Celsius and hfg 2257 kilojoules per kg assume vapor density is small compared to that of the condensate okay let me read the problem once again a vertical plate 500 millimeter high and maintained at 30 degrees celsius is exposed to saturated steam at atmospheric pressure calculate the following rate of heat transfer and condensate rate per hour per meter width of the plate for film condensation properties of water at mean temperature are rho l is equal to 980.3 kg per meter cube mu l 434 into 10 power minus 6 kg per meter second k equal to 66.4 into 10 power minus 2 watt per meter degree celsius and hfg 2257 kilojoules per kg assume vapor density is small compared to that of the condensate this problem has taken from uh, vtu old question paper january 2019 you know the expression for the mean heat transfer coefficient for condensation of steam on a vertical cylinder is given by this equation h average equal to 0.943 into bracket g into rho l into rho l that is rho l minus rho v rho l in the problem he has mentioned to eliminate in the previous problem also we did the same thing you can consider no even it no it will not affect the final value hfg kl cube divided by mu l T sat minus T s into L whole bracket to the power 1 by 4. Substituting all the values 0.943 it is a constant 9.81 G 980.3 whole square L square 2 to 5 7 into 10 power 3 HFG 66.4 into 10 to power minus 2 whole to the power 3 it is KL cube divided by mu L 434 into 10 power minus 6 into bracket 100 minus 30 it is saturation temperature is 100 minus 30 if it is not given straight away you can assume 100 degrees Celsius L is 0.5 so it works out to be 4243.2 watt per meter square degree Celsius. Heat transfer rate, as usual, you know, it is given by the Newton's law for heating or cooling equation HA delta T 4243.21 into 0 0.5 into 1. T sat is 100 and TS is 30.
it is works out to be 148.523 kilowatts and rate of condensation of steam you know this is the familiar equation m is equal to q by hfg 148.523 divided by 2 to 5 7 0. 0.0658 kg per second it is two, multiplied by 3600 it is 236.89 kg per hour you will get that is the requirement fifth problem it is taken from vt old question paper july 2019 steam at 100 degree celsius is condensing on cylindrical drum having a diameter of 20 cm and temperature of 90 degree celsius if the drum is vertical how long must it to it to be to condense it 100 kg of steam per hour properties of water at mean temperature are given as rho l 965.1 kg per meter cube mu l 0.315 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg per meter second k equal to 0 0.673 watt per meter kelvin kinematic viscosity nu 0.312 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square per second and hfg 2257 kilojoules per kg assume vapor density is small compared to that of condensate let me read the problem once again. Steam at 100 degrees Celsius is condensing on cylindrical drum having a diameter of 20 centimeter and temperature of 90 degree Celsius. If the drum is vertical, how long must it to be to condense it 100 kg of steam per hour? Properties of water at mean temperature are given as rho L is equal to 965.1 kg per meter cube, mu L 0.315 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg per meter second, k equal to 0 0.673 watt per meter kelvin, kinematic viscosity nu 0 0.312 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square per second, and HFG 2270 kilojoules per kg. Assume vapor density is small compared to that of the condensate, so we can neglect rho V. Heat transfer rate, we know the equation Q is equal to H A delta T. It is H surface area is pi del into 100 minus 90. Properties are given, we need not evaluate. Rate of condensation of steam, M is equal to Q by HFG. So, so Q what you will get is M into HFG. Okay. So, M mass flow rate into So it is given mass flow rate 100 kg per hour. So it is 100 divided by 3600 HFG 2270. So the heat transfer rate is 63.05 kilowatts. So if we equate 1 and 2, so 63.05 into 10 to the power minus 3, it is H pi DL. So in delta T is 100 minus 90. So H what you will get is 10.03 into 10 to the power 3 by L. Call this as equation as 3. We know the expression for film thickness is given by delta x equal to into bracket 4 mu l k l t sat minus t s into l divided by g rho l h f g into rho l that is rho l square you will get rho, rho v is ignored it is mentioned in the problem whole bracket to the power 1 by 4 upon substitution of all the values delta x it is 4 into 0 0.315 into 10 power minus 3 mu l k l is 0 0.673 t sat is 100 t s is minus 90 l as it is divided by G 9.81 Royal into Royal is 965.1 whole square. So HFG is 2270 into 10 to the power 3. So delta X what you will get is 1.42 into 10 to the power minus 4 into L to the power 0 0.25. You know heat transfer coefficient is given by HX is equal to 4 third KL by delta X. So let us substitute this delta x. It is 4 third into as it is. It is 0.673 divided by 1.42 into 10 to the power minus 4 L to the power 0 0.25. If we equate 3 and 4, 3 is 10.03 into 10 to the power 3 divided by L. That is equal to 4 third into 0.673 divided by 1.42 into 10 to the power minus 4 into L to the power 0 0.25. So upon solving this equation, this equation, this equation, so we'll get the length required to condense it, condense 100 kg of steam per hour equal to 1.85 meter. So obviously film thickness delta x equal to 1.42 into 10 to the power minus 4 into 1.85 5 to the power 0.25. So it is 0.165 meter millimeter upon calculation. We'll get the film thickness. Now let me take the last problem, probably uh, this uh, taken from HTU July 2019 paper. Let me read the problem. The outer surface of a vertical tube 80 millimeter in outer diameter and 1 meter long is exposed to saturated steam at atmospheric pressure. The tube surface is maintained at 50 degrees Celsius by flow of water through the tube. 
what is the rate of heat transfer to the coolant and what is the rate of condensation it is a sim similar to the the problem so far what we did as usual let us evaluate the properties of water at mean temperature mean temperature it is tube surface is given so obviously it is uh, saturation temperature is 100 degree so so evaluate rho l is equal to 976.75 kg per meter cube mu well 3.83 into 10 to the power minus 4 kg per meter second k 0.6643 watt per meter cube and hfg 2 to 57 kJ per kg we know the expression for the mean heat transfer coefficient for condensation of steam on a vertical cylinder h average is equal to 0.943 into g into rho l rho l rho v you can ignore hfg kl cube divided by mu well into t sat minus t s into l whole bracket to the power 1 by 4 substituting all the values so you will get h average equal to 0.943 into bracket 9.81 into 976.75 whole square into 2 to 57 into 10 power 3 0.6643 cube divided by 3.83 into 10 to the power minus 4 100 minus 50 into 1 so upon calculation whole to the power 1 by 4 upon calculation it is 3998.45 watt per meter square degree celsius heat transfer rate as usual you know q is equal to h a delta t this equation wherever newton's law of cooling or heating equation So this is H you have calculated three thousand nine hundred ninety eight, three thousand nine hundred ninety eight point four five. It is phi dl phi into eighty converted to meter into l one meter hundred minus thirty. It is fifty point two four kilowatts. Rate of condensation of steam m is equal to q by H F G fifty point two four divided by two to five seven. It is zero point zero two 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 kg per second. So this completes the module fifth. These are the references i have reported nakati ogisic heat transfer a basic approach international edition migrail singapore simonson jr 1998 engineering heat transfer second edition macmillan education limited london sanjal y and sanjal y 2002 edition heat transfer a practical approach second edition migrail new york holman jp 2010 heat transfer 10th edition migrail new york this completes the uh, the fifth module including heat exchanger as well as the boiling and condensation i take this opportunity to thank the vice chancellor uh, isweshwarya technological university balagam uh, registrar vice isweshwarya technological university balagam uh, registrar uh, academic section isweshwarya technological university balagam and all the office bearers of the e shikshana program of isweshwarya technological university balagam and faculty advisory board of isweshwarya technological university balagam uh, for e shikshana program thank you one and all have a good day thank you